there's a palpable sense of yearning among the public. A desire for leadership that's not just strong, but grounded in principles and open to all voices. The notion of bringing someone like RFK Jr. into the fold isn't just a political maneuver. It's a profound gesture toward unity, a powerful symbol of a commitment to collaboration that resonates deeply with many. RFK Jr. has offered his support to you and your campaign. How yes. do you feel about that? I'm very honored by it. He's a very uh, smart guy, a different kind of a guy, but very smart, loves our country, has uh, some, I think, very uh, good views on a lot of different things. And I've known him for a long time. We've been somewhat friendly, actually. And I think he's going to be a great asset. And will I have him in the administration? It's possible. We haven't really discussed that, but it's possible. But I think he adds a lot. I think he adds a lot to the election. He's got a good following, tremendous following. I think he adds a lot to the election. And I think he adds a lot to if we win. I mean, he's got some very interesting ideas and good ideas. Imagine an administration that not only promises, but delivers. Placing RFK Jr., a figure celebrated for his independence and sharp critique, into a pivotal role could be seen as a masterstroke. It's about weaving together diverse viewpoints under the banner of a shared, unwavering love for the nation. When we talk about keeping one's word, it strikes a chord with the conservative ideals of integrity and accountability, values that echo with emotional weight and moral responsibility.